joining us from the other side of the international date line. Bill lives uh, around Sydney, Australia, just outside of Sydney. So he'll be joining us from down under with, among other things, a chilling tale of an alien abduction case that has now led to DNA evidence taken from something that is not easily explained. Call it an alien. Uh, he's also been making forays into the Chinese UFO scene, been over on the continent there a couple of times, and, and as with everything else these days, the Chinese seem to be right in the thick of things. Uh, I paired up this special lunar sensing satellite, put it on an Atlas rocket, fired it toward the moon. It's, uh, it's up there taking a close look at the surface of the moon, respect to the world from MUFON and that, that organization, but compared to... The, the interest level in China, uh, it, it's not a comparison. And lately, there have been some amazing reports of mass sightings over there. So Bill is going to give us the lowdown on what the real story is on those sightings and a whole lot of other stuff. The uh, UFO scene in Australia, how uh, American ufology is viewed from over here, hot cases that he's working on. He is a world-class scientist and investigator, and I know you're going to enjoy what he has to say. Okay, since uh, the last time I was here, the, uh, the new and approved Hubble telescope is back up and running, providing us with some stunning images from deep space. I tell you, doesn't that stuff knock your socks off, those photos? And uh, let's see, the first lady of Japan told reporters she'd taken a trip to Venus. You are the 